So a really good way to visualize data is a software called DView. And I gave the um, link in the intro to this video, but I'll also have it in the um, description of this video if you want to copy and paste it to download this DView software. So first off, let's look at the sheet that we have. It's a very similar sheet. I, I deleted a few things, so when we um, import this over to DView, it would be easier. Um, what we have here is our 8,760 values with solar power, dry bulb temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, and temperature. And what we're going to do is we're going to import this into DView. So this used to actually be really easy. We used to just save the Excel file and open up the Excel file in DView. But it's not compatible with Excel 2013 files. So what we have to do is we have to first go to File, Save As, and we're going to save it as a CSV file. So we, I'm just typing that name. But I, the main thing you have to do is change it to, instead of Excel Workbook, we're going to do a CSV comma delimited. And then we're going to hit OK or save. So we definitely want to keep using this format. And then we're going to need to close this file because DVU can't open it unless Excel is closed. And we're going to hit don't save. So let's go ahead and open DVU. You got a little view of my video editor. Um, and we're going to go ahead, and this is what it looks like when you download and open DView. It's available on all the computers in, in, uh, at Delaware Tech um, Energy Department. If we open this, we're going to go to the file we just saved, which is TIP16 Sheet CSV. And we're going to hit Open. So it'll take a little bit to process it. And now we're going to start um, showing things. So first off, DView only... And we're going to get rid of that for now. DView only accepts files that are 8,760 um, hourly data pieces in length. So that's really important. So it only accepts a year's worth of hourly data. So it's very specific. It's got to be 8,760, and it's got to be hourly data. So it could be weather data. It could be utility data. It could be anything, but it's got to be hourly. So that's really important. And you can see that as hourly time series here. So let's just look at temperature, because temperature is probably the easiest thing for us to look at. Um, and this is the temperature for January. And you can see every single day in January, the temperature goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And what's nice about this is we can zoom out. So we can see the temperature trend through the year. You know, it's hard, a little harder to see. And we can zoom in at different locations and, and go across and whatnot. So that's really cool. So the other thing we can do is just like, so this would just be like if we um, selected all 8,760 entries and made a line graph in Excel. So let's go ahead and look at our daily profile. So the daily averages is this is every single day it averages the 24 hours in that day, and it makes a point for each of those. So if we zoom in a little bit more, so what you can see sort of here is that every single day has a um, value, and that's it. So let's go ahead and zoom out again. So that gives us a little bit you know, more um, filtered picture with the average temperatures. Let's go ahead to monthly. So monthly, there's only going to be 12 values because now it's averaging every single month. And these daily and monthly things are things we could do with pivot tables in Excel. So this profile shows the profile for every month. So it shows the average hourly temperature for every month. And it makes sense that it goes down um, at 6 a.m. and then comes back up. So this is basically for the month of January, taking each hour so at, from each day and averaging them out. So again, you could do this with pivot tables with Excel. So you could also show the annual one, and that's the annual profile. So let's show the last thing um, that we're gonna. I'm going to show you what um, DMAP can do, which is, or DView can do, which is something called a DMAP. This is my favorite. So what is this showing? Well, we have the month on the bottom, and then we have the hour of the day on the left, and then the color indicates the the um, the temperature. So the red, the more red the colors, the hotter the temperature, and the more blue or black the colors the colder the temperature. And it makes sense that January we have more of the bluish type colors, and December we have more of the bluish type colors. And also at the early hours of morning we have the bluish type colors, and the late hours of the night are, are, are more bluish as well. And we can sort of see the red, which is the hottest day of, uh, the hottest time of the day in the middle of the summer. So this sort of shows you right away, you know, the trends of temperature over time for the whole year. 
and it's one of my favorite displays of data. So hopefully now you have an appreciation for DView. They do do um, a little more plots like a box plot, um, a probability density function, a cumulative density function, and um, a duration curve. So, um, so this is more advanced, and we're not going to go over this, but you can, you can sort of see how powerful this tool could be for analyzing data. All right, thanks for watching.